हेलो वेलकम टू पार्ट सेवेंटी वन ऑफ एस टेन जी ट्रेनिंग सीरीज इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन एंड प्रैक्टिकली डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ टू टेक स्क्रीन शॉट्स फॉर द फेल टेस्ट यूजिंग डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन वन ऑफ द प्रीवियस सेशन आई शोड यू प्रैक्टिकली हाउ टू टेक स्क्रीन शॉट्स ओनली फॉर द फेल टेस्ट यूजिंग लिजनर्स बट नाउ in place of listeners we are going to use dependency injection okay there is another way guys for taking the screenshots for only the failed test that is by using the dependency injection instead of uh, listeners you can choose whatever you want okay but this session is all about showing you another possibility or another way where you can take screenshots for the failed test using dependency injection so it's all about the practical demonstration in this session guys so if you can see here this is our project that i have been using from the past few sessions right so if you have been following my sessions in a sequential order you would have already known that this is the project i was using right fine anyhow so already there are some screenshots you can see some screenshots are already taken okay under uh, i'll refresh the project also just to confirm like these are the final screenshots we have before we have run anything here we have 1 2 3 4 5 5 these five screenshots are the older screenshots i have taken using the listeners method listeners way of doing okay instead of method i have to say way okay better okay otherwise it will give a different meaning fine by using listeners way if you want to take a screenshots of the uh, tests which are failing okay uh, these are the screenshots i have shown you in the previous sessions but now what i am going to do is i am not going to use the listeners class now okay so this these are the automation tests and these are the listeners how they are connected how this automation tests are connected to this listeners class by using this test and xml file if you open this test and xml file we have added this listeners tags right listeners listeners like this i'll comment it out guys okay there is a way to comment here just give me a second i'll comment it out okay i'll just comment up to here so it is not going to work now okay this this is the starting of the comment this is the ending of the comment so this uh, because tomorrow if i need the listener stacks again i have to enable so instead of deleting i am putting the comments guys okay that's one thing so now listeners uh, tags are uh, commented that means they are disabled that means there is no connection between this test methods and this listeners class none of the methods inside this listeners class will get invoked based on the events triggered from this test automation scripts in this classes okay because why i'm doing this why i'm disabling this listeners tags because i want to show you another way okay i want to show you another way where we can even capture the screenshots without the help of listeners okay so i'll open this login.java guys okay uh, here in login.java login class java we have before method after method and for, there are five automation tests test one test uh, test having automation test having the priority two priority three four five total five automation scripts are there for every automation script if any of this automation scripts in this login.java fails what i want to do is in this after method i want to capture the screenshot what i will do is here i'll write okay i test so i can i can copy that from my listeners actually i test result this is the one guys okay i was looking for this one okay i'll just write on whatever that is there in here right because now this class will not be invoked this methods will not be invoked but this one we need still okay you can copy this if you want okay and put that here that's it okay in this after method you put it now what you can do string test name string test name is equal to result dot get name okay it will give get the name of the test method which got failed okay now how to capture the screenshot how to capture the screenshot the method is there in the base class if you remember in the base class in the previous session we created this uh, take screenshot method right i need to call this method from the base class so what i will do is uh, instead of calling it in a different way i'll extends i'll use extends login extends base i will say so that all the methods of this base class will be now part of the child class that is login class so i can call this method directly so that take sorry uh, i didn't copy it it's like so let me go here and let me copy this method and it requires a driver and test name guys okay so already i have retrieved the test name now i need the driver driver is anyhow part of this okay in the login class here driver is already there we don't have to retrieve it separately so simply pass the driver comma test name that's it okay so wherever you call this uh, take screenshot okay so here 
there is a problem guys okay if you write directly like this what is the problem you see after every test method after method will be called no matter what whether the test will pass or fail these two lines will be executed and screenshot will be taken even after the script has the automation script has not failed so how to find it out how to uh, uh, how to make this uh, two lines stick to something that is only for the test uh, this two lines should be executed only for the test which got failed not for the test which got passed for that just go inside this i, I test result just press control key and it will be highlighted click on that you see uh, here there is something known as failure okay so uh, this is an interface and uh, in interface by default they are static and final type right all the variables in this, they are uh, static and final type so what we can do is uh, we can directly call this uh, variable with the help of the i test result interface name okay i test result dot failure okay so what i will do here is i'll just write some logic here okay if if okay result dot the actual result okay result dot get status so it is giving the status in the form of what integer value okay it, it it's giving the status in the form of integer value is equal to this i test result dot failure okay what is this i test result dot failure if we already have shown you right i test result dot failure is equal to 2 okay if this result dot get status returns 2 and which is equal to i test result dot failure value okay of the interface then only take the screenshot otherwise don't take the screenshot hope you are able to understand these two lines okay like this i'll write the code now what happens is only when the test fails okay so this after method either you have to move it into the base class or uh, you have to put in after method in each and every classes okay for now i am only putting in the login class because in only login class we have the real test methods okay test automation scripts and other things only print statements are there but i just want to this is called as dependency injection guys okay this is called as dependency injection without using listeners i am invoking this after method after method of testing it gets invoked after every test method if the test fails it will know and then it will take the screenshot okay so now let's do it okay now let's uh let's see whether the screenshot is taken or not okay let's see whether the screenshot is taken or not apart from that if you want to get the logs also you can do that you can write like the system dot out dot print ln test name plus got failed okay got failed you can also print the logs apart from the screenshot you can also print the logs whatever you want to do whatever that was achievable achievable with the on test failure method of the listeners class it's also achievable with the help of the after method where we are just taking the i test result uh, interface of test in g and by using this object reference we are achieving all this stuff okay so if I run this testing.xml file, just see whether the screenshot is being earlier. There are five screenshots. Now six screenshot will come, guys. Okay. Uh, despite of not using the listeners by using the method known as dependency injection, we are achieving this. Okay. Let's see whether we'll get a sixth screenshot with the timestamp and all or not. Let's find it out after the running of the scripts. Let the scripts run. First test complicate. You see, it got failed, it got printed because we mentioned in the after method, right? Test uh, name got failed, okay? So remaining for all other methods, it did not print because all that other test methods will pass, okay? We're almost there. Sometimes this application will take a lot of time to load, guys. Since this is a demo application, I'll press hit enter just to, you know, right, uh, save the time. But in real time, you should not be doing that. You see, out of uh, 12 tests, 11 got passed and one got failed. For that, whether the screenshot has been taken or not, let's see. Yes, the screenshot has been taken, guys, successfully. Login with valid credentials, Thursday, October 17. Uh, what is this? Where is the screenshot, guys? I don't know. Like, uh, let's go to the screenshots folder and find it out. Where is the latest screenshot? So based on the timestamp and all, we can find it out properly, screenshots. Okay, so I'll go with a different view here. List and uh, is that other thing, details. Details is the next one, okay, better one. Yeah, now it's a uh, 15. Yeah, this is the one guys, okay. This is the one which has been taken recently, okay. It, you see at this time it got taken okay at this time it got taken now it's 1702 just two minutes before we have taken the screenshot okay and with the proper timestamp it has come okay with the proper timestamp at five o'clock
okay on october 13 at 5 o'clock it came okay uh, even seconds are also there 59 seconds just a minute before that's it okay so let's open the screenshot and see everything is fine yes it's fine okay so this is another way guys uh, this is another way there's multi there are multiple ways of taking the screenshots for the failed test failed automation test in test ng you can either use listeners or you can use a dependency injection method anything is fine okay it all depends on your project and all your requirements but you should have this knowledge okay that's the reason i covered most of the cases people will use listeners but uh, having some additional knowledge like uh, knowing that there's another way to take the screenshots by using dependency injection is also important as part of your knowledge purpose so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another test topic for you till then see you bye bye